Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have, I'm so sorry, another unplugged book box unboxing. This one does not have the traditional labeling and branding as our normal boxes. I'm not sure what that's about, but this should be the May 2023 box. I know I have done a ton of these recently because of their um, backups for the March and April boxes, but this should be my last unboxing before I dive back into reviews. I did just finish Legacy Witches and The Salt Grows Heavy by Cassandra Call, so I will be doing reviews on both of those very, very, very soon. Um, though I think I might put The Salt Grows Heavy review up first, even though I read it after Legacy Witches, just because I have many things to say about that book. Um, but I will leave that for that review. Anyways, for those of you guys who do not know, Unplugged is a monthly subscription box. It retails for, I believe, $39.99 every single month, plus shipping and handling, which comes out to about like $49 and change for me. There are two different tiers, either young adult or adult fiction. I get the adult fiction. Um, and it balances books with self-care. I really love the idea and intent behind this box, and they've been doing limited edition um, custom books with the publishers that they've been working with for the last couple of months, and I've been really, really thrilled with that. So we today are going to go through and see what we have for May. I'm not sure what is in this box, um, just because they do do spoilers, but with all of the delays and stuff, I have completely forgotten what book this is. But this is what we have on the inside. And let's go through and see. I'm gonna grab this first. I'm assuming this is our candle. You do get a candle every single month, except for the summer months. Ooh, we get another purple one. So we've been getting red, purple, black, and orange. Those have been the three colors we've been getting. And this is Dalloway School, Godwin House, and Felicity Morrow. I have no idea what that is. And this says Essence of Vengeance. From Knowledge Comes Vengeance. Okay. Ooh, this is such a weird smell. It doesn't have the scent on it again, which is annoying. I don't know what the smell is. It almost smells like freshly baked bread, but it's a little sweeter and like more, um, less fruitier than that. I do like it though. So we then have our little spoiler card to go through after. We have this little box right here. Oh, what is this? What is this? This says timeless, timeless reading inventory. So we have a, a purple theme going on here, but this is this, um, it's like a wooden notebook. It looks like, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that is so cool. So it's like one of those decorative lamps. Fun. What does it say on the back? It's got the months of the year. It's got like a calendar. Um, but it's just this timeless reading inventory. Very cool. Oh, it changes colors. Look at that. I've never seen one of these before. I mean, I feel like I've seen maybe photos of it before, but this is very cool. It's got its own little charger. Very nice. I'll use that for but it sure is fun <laughs> okay so then we have is this a perfume lady whistledown society spray and it is a room and linen spray Ooh. oh my god it smells like fresh cut flowers i have a candle that smells exactly like this oh i love that that smells great i love linen sprays i do actually use them all the time and I just went to the Bridgerton Ball, so I'm like super into Lady Whistledown right now. I watched all of Queen Charlotte too, it was great. Okay, so we have these, are these more socks? Tell me these are more socks. Oh my God. Okay, I know we definitely just got socks in our most recent Twisted Retreat. What is this? I have no idea what this is. This looks like, I wanna say Pride and Prejudice, but I think that's wrong. I don't care, I love these socks. I love these socks. This is now the third pair I've gotten from like Unplugged or Twisted Retreat. They are such great socks. When you first get them, they feel really thin and they're definitely not the warmest socks, but they are comfy. They are long lasting. They don't cut off the circulation on like your upper calves like some socks do. I freaking love these socks. 
very happy with that. Oh, is this a shower steamer? So it says there is a Tide, and this is chamomile and crime. It doesn't say what it is. Oh my god, it smells so good. But I'm assuming it's a uh, shower steamer. Okay, so I think that's it, apart from the book. So we will grab that. And we have Daughters of Smoke and Fire by Ava Homa. Let's open this up and see all the pretty things. Okay. So we have this flower, and then we have kind of like roses going up and down the book. Let's see what the inside is. Ooh, we've got like sparking smoke. I'm not quite sure. Is it on both sides? It is on both sides. And then let's see what the cover is. This is my favorite part, y'all. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Okay, so then we have this like kind of weird flower design. It is the same on the front and the back. Um, and then, of course, it says Daughters of Smoke and Fire. I am a little bummed that we do not have the name of the book on the front cover. I've really been enjoying when they were doing that, but I don't make these, so. <laughs> Ooh, the, the edging on the book. Let me see if you guys can see this. The edging on the book has, like, a metallic shift to it. It might just come up black on the camera, but it's got gold in it, which is really cool. Um, that's awesome. Okay, anyhow. Uh, let's read what this is about, because I don't know anything about it. The unforgettable haunting story of a young Kurdish woman's perilous fight for freedom and justice for her brother. Set primarily in Iran, this extraordinary debut novel weaves 50 years of modern Kurdish history through a story of a family facing oppression and injustices all too familiar to the Kurds. Layla dreams of making films to bring the suppressed stories of her people onto the global stage, but obstacles keep piling up. Her younger brother, Chia, influenced by their father's past torture, imprisonment, and his deep-seated desire for justice, begins to engage with social and political affairs. But his activism grows increasingly risky, and one day he disappears in Tehran. Seeking answers about her brother's whereabouts, Layla fears the worst and begins to campaign to save him. But when she publishes Chia's writings online, she finds herself in grave danger as well. Inspired by the life of Kurdish human rights and activist Farzad Kamanjar, I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. And published to coincide with the 10th anniversary of his execution, Daughters of Smoke and Fire is an evocative portrait of the lives and stakes faced by 40 million stateless Kurds. It is an unflinching but compassionate and powerful story that brilliantly illuminates the meaning of identity and the complex bonds of family. A landmark novel for our troubled world, Daughters of Smoke and Fire is a gripping and important read, perfect for the fans, perfect for fans of Khaled Hosseini's The Kite Runner and Chimamanda Nogzi's Adichie's Half of a Yellow Sun. I am so sorry for all those mispronunciations. I'm sure I butchered those. Um, this sounds extremely heavy. This this sounds very, very, very heavy. Um, definitely not something I would normally pick up. Something I am definitely interested in reading. I don't want to call it historical fiction because it's not necessarily so far into the past, um, but it technically, I guess, would be like historical fiction. Um, this is really, really interesting. This is something that I feel like I would read when I'm in the mood for something more like history based um, and like politically based. I usually try to separate politics from um, my reading. Um, but this does sound very, very heavy and it does sound very, very cool. I really like the concept and ideas behind it and it is beautiful. Um, so there you have it. We have that. So let's go through the spoiler card because I don't remember what the theme is. Okay, so our um, our theme this month is Freedom and Justice. And we have the Reading Inventory Book Shaped Light, which is just decorative. Um, and it says, to keep your book propped open, we recommend weighting the exterior with magnets. Okay. Um, and it was designed by Typical Ghost, who's been working with them a bunch recently. Uh, there is a Tide Shower Steamer, I was correct, um, which is based off of Agatha Christie's There is a Tide. I have not heard of that one. Uh, a Lesson in Vengeance Candle, which is a novel by Victoria Lee. I am unfamiliar with that. Um, and this was actually an error. I was wondering where our Seven Deadly uh, Sins thing. Um, so this was sent to us instead of the Seven Deadly Sins Candle. Um, so that will pick up again in the fall. It was supposed to be for May, but they had an error and they sent us um, YA jars, it looks like. So instead of 
only giving some people the YA, uh, instead of only giving some people the Seven Deadly Sins candle, they're going to give all of us the candle at the end of uh, the year, and we get the YA one instead. So that's fine. It smells amazing. The Bridgerton Room uh, Spray, and then the Dark Academia Socks. And then our book of the month is Daughters of Fire and Smoke. Um, and I actually don't think they changed the... Um, uh, the cover of this one. Yeah, it, see, it says that this one just has exclusive foiling, um, the stenciled edges, and custom end pages. So yeah, so this one is the original cover. I haven't seen them do that yet. It is a very cool color, though. I really like this, uh, this flower thing. There you go. Um, I'm pretty, pretty stoked on this box. Um, I know we did just get socks, and I was literally just complaining about how I really don't want, um, repeats and, like, overlap from the similar boxes, but... You can give me socks every day. <laughs> like, I, I do, I, like, I was a little upset that we got so much body lotion and body wash, but those are things that I use and have been using every day since I got them. Um, so, like, I, I understand that there is some repetition in these boxes, but at least the items they're repeating are, like, items I'm super excited about. I'm very, very, very excited about my socks. Love a shower steamer. Love a shower steamer. Love a linen spray obviously the candle. Very happy with all of these items. I'm really unsure of what I'm going to use this book lamp for. It's really, really cool. Um, it's just not something that I've ever thought about using before. Um, like it, oh, it's pink now. Um, it's a very cool idea and very cool decoration. I just have to figure out what I would use it for. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, this box. I think that the book is definitely a book I'm going to hold on to for like later. It definitely feels like a very, very heavy, heavy book. And I really don't know if I can go down that road quite yet. Um, anytime soon. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Mwah.